Hey, welcome back. So we are going to be making a collage today using different kinds of papers. I have tons of scraps from other projects and it could be any scraps you have around. I'm gonna be pre predominantly using the colors red, blue, I have some tissue paper here that's a little transparent and easy to rip. I have some lighter blues that were sort of floating around that I think will be cool. And I have a uh, black tissue paper to do some shadow work and other kinds of reds with cool textures on them. Um, so I saw a work of art at the BMA today that was really dedicated to Baltimore area artists that are of color and are women. So I really loved Sonia Clark. She's born in Washington, DC in 1967 and she did a piece called Unraveled. And it was an actual Confederate flag um, and it was coming apart. Like she manually took off unwove parts of the flag and it was participatory meaning that the audience could take part in doing it but because of the pandemic and for safety regulations people couldn't participate this time so we did blind contours of works of art that really spoke to us and i want to quote her she said not to destroy the flag but to investigate what it means to take it apart a metaphor for the slow and deliberate work of unveiling racial dynamics in the United States. Um, there's also a project you can learn more about called the Solidarity Book Project, so check that out. And this was my blind contour. So you see some of the white stars of the flag. Here is that red triangle and then the dark blue cross down the middle. And then these sort of squiggly lines at the bottom turn into a bunch of yarn. So it's the unraveling. So I'm gonna try to reproduce that in my sketchbook using pieces of paper. So materials I'm gonna use include scissors. Uh, you can use a glue stick, which I think is better. Um, I have Elmer's glue lying around. The thing to make sure of is to make sure your edges have glue on them. We don't want your edges coming apart when your artwork is drying. I also have some really cool markers to help me lay out my design. And you can use a photo if you want. I'm gonna be using my blind contour and my memory. And then I have some color pencils in case I need to add more texture or details. Okay, let's get started. Okay. So if I look at my drawing, there was like a large triangle at the top and then there was a big dark blue X and this is just going to help me cut out pieces of paper and I remember that all of this was red but I also remember Somewhere around here is where it was coming apart. So now that I have my basic layout, I'm gonna try to cut out pieces of paper and I'm gonna start with the X. And whatever I don't use, I put to the side because maybe I can use it for a different project. So here's a trick that I like to use. 
let's pretend that this is a glue stick. Because what's nice about a glue stick is that you can spread the adhesive all the way to the edge. And that you don't get your fingers dirty. But I don't mind getting my fingers dirty. I think it's kind of fun. So the trick is to keep all of the scraps, pieces of paper that you're not using to the side so that you can maintain a clean surface. Now I'm just going to attach my pieces of paper So that's how I would do it. I would pick one color at a time after drawing my shapes. And when you overlap pieces of paper to each other, make sure that the edges aren't poking out. And the cool thing that I love about collage is that you can have edges of the work that don't make sense as long as the main idea works. Okay. So here I have my X. So I need a piece of blue paper right there. So I'm just going to cut up the piece that I need and keep the other piece away from my work area because my work area is going to get covered in glue. So if you're working on the kitchen table, which is my favorite place to work, you may want to clean it up before you have dinner. Okay, so right here, if you see, there's a lot of pieces of paper overlapping. Make sure that nothing is poking up and run your finger through it so that it sticks to your paper. Okay, now I, I like the blue. I'm gonna start working in some of my red. The other nice thing I like to do with collage is work with my fingers. So you don't need scissors to cut paper. And because my piece has to do with taking apart racism and, and analyzing history to think about how we got here, I, I'm going to use that idea as I cut paper. How can I take apart my sheets of paper to represent taking apart the Confederacy monuments that represent white supremacy, which basically means that white people have an innate right to things that other people do not, such as land, water, voting rights, opinions, health care, education, loans, etc., etc. So these are the things I'm thinking about as I make this work, which is probably what the artist wanted us to do. All right, one of the tricks 
when I'm figuring out my piece, my size, is I'll take a piece of paper, I'll, I'll line up one edge, and the other edge that I'm not so sure about, I will fold it as a marker for where I wanna cut it. So I'm gonna fold it very neatly with my nails. And then I'm gonna go on with my scissors. I'm gonna use the scissors for this to get a nice, clean, sharp edge to make that X pop. Now for tissue paper, because it's so thin, I'm gonna put the glue on my paper, which is not what you really do, but because it's tissue paper, you wanna do it that way. And I'm gonna lay that on top. Now the nice thing about working with tissue paper is that, you see my edges are coming up? You can put glue right on top and it'll go through to the other side because it's so thin. And I'm gonna keep going until I cover up all of the surface area. And I'm, um, I'm gonna come back and I'll show you what this looks like. 